everybody, my name is Amber and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you around my university room. I moved in about a week ago so it's still a work in progress but I'm pretty happy with it so I really hope you enjoy it. Okay so starting with the back of the door I've just got this little fish hook thing that was a present um, and I just hang my bags and my coats on that and then for some reason I have a lock on my door I'm not really sure why um, and then down here is the corner behind my door so this is my washing basket which I got from TK Maxx and it just has this gorgeous, gorgeous pattern on it um, and I think it was about eight pounds it was really inexpensive then I have this long mirror which I don't actually remember where it was from or how much it was um, and then this vase was from Ikea I think it was about six pounds and I have yet to receive any flowers to put in it Moving down, we then have these white wicker baskets, which I got from Sainsbury's, and I just keep really random stuff in there. Then I've just got this plant pot, which was for a plant, believe it or not, but it doesn't fit, so I'm just keeping my hair stuff in it for now. And then this is a mess. This is where I keep all my wires and my hair, hair dryer and stuff like that. It's just in a little wicker basket, which again was from Sainsbury's. And then this side table is a little bit of a DIY, as you can probably tell. Um, it's just a storage box that I turned upside down and put a bed sheet over so it is a little bit worse for wear but it does the job and then on here I've got another wicker basket from Sainsbury's with just um, some pills, some skincare, my makeup remover, moisturiser and then I have this little mug from Sainsbury's I want to say again um, which I just keep like razors, tweezers, scissors, earplugs and stuff in there and then this is where I keep all my hair bands um, this is actually a jewellery holder, it was a present so I'm not sure where it was from but I really like it moving on to my bed which is probably one of my favourite places in my room um, my grey bedding is from Argos um, these pillows, so the two grey ones and the pink ones were actually DIYs they were old pillows that I had used in um, old videos uh, which were like green polka dots and elephants and I just re did them, upcycled them with some fabric. Um, this grey throw which I love is from Ikea and was £6 and then this pink throw I'm actually obsessed with just because of the detail of it like it's so nice um, and this was from Ikea as well and it's £25 so a bit more expensive. I have some fairy lights at the top which you probably can't see because it is daylight I've got this little corner here and my plant is kind of dying which is a bit sad but this is a plant I just stole from home and then the big letter A is from TK Maxx once again and was about £8, £9 I want to say and I still need to find a plant pot for my dying plant because it's a really awkward size so I haven't been able to find one so at the moment it's just on a plate but if anyone knows how I can revive my plant please let me know Moving on from my bed, I then keep my slippers down here, which are really cute. And then in this window, I've got a You Are Beautiful Inside and Out, which was a gift. Um, and then this little corner, again with another plant, is a trailing ivy. Um, a picture of me and my boyfriend. And then another cute little mug from Sainsbury's with just some skincare in it. And then this is my desk area, which I think is one of my favourite areas at the moment. Um, the chair and the desk, I'm not sure where it was from because my flatmate bought them for me for like from her house, she didn't buy them for me um, and then I've got this little plant in an Ikea plant pot um, which I stole from home again and then I've got a little box full of my oh there's me, hi full of my stuff from last year and then I wanted shelves but we're not allowed shelves so I got some file holders and switch them to the side so that then they be clean clean shelves and I could put my lamp on it which I still need to get a bulb for. Moving over if I put my laptop down um I've just got some Pritt Stay Accelitate and a little IKEA plant pot with pencils in and then it gets a bit crazy I've got this um what's it called cork board which again I don't know where it was from but I DIY'd it by putting some ikea wallpaper like on the back so i cut it to shape and literally put stick that on so i could stick photos and stuff on it and it'd be a bit more exciting i then have this a1 planner up here hence the pens on the wall these are the pens i use to color code my planner such a geek but i just use black for days that i've already been here pink for days christian's coming up 
orange for days I'm going down, yellow for days I need to remember, and the red circles are all my deadlines. I then have these two um, clipboards, which I can't hang up because Blue Tank won't hold them, but they were from um, TK Maxx, I think they both were from TK Maxx. I then have this little journal, which I love, and it says Live Simply. I think you've seen this one before, but that was from TK Maxx. And then I have this diary, which is a 2017 diary, which was a gift, so I don't know where that's from. And then a Scenes Breeze folder holder with lots of paper and admin stuff. And then I've got this little desk organizer, which I just put like my events and my goals and my stuff to do and things that I can't forget. And that's just a weekly one, so you just rip it as the days go. a little bin under here which I need to empty but I've also got these which I haven't managed to find photos for so they're just staying there for now. Um, I've got my reading lists pinned up here back at uni obviously and then this is my wardrobe which I've covered in lots of photos to make it a bit more interesting. drawers the bottom one's broken which is why you kind kind of seen into it um but yeah and on the top of this i think these drawers are from ikea it came with the furniture so came with the furniture came with the house um i've got another diy little cork board and then all my sprays so the victoria's secret one some deodorants and some dry shampoo another cute little plant um a little box of my nail varnishes sunglasses from river island and primark mirror from i don't know where little makeup storage that I got from Primark with all my makeup and stuff in it and then another little do pad there just to remind me of things I've got to do. So that's it for this video, I really hope you enjoyed it and found out a bit more about my kind of interior decorating skills which are next to none but either way I hope you've learned something and that you can use this as inspiration for your bedrooms. If you did enjoy it please hit the thumbs up and subscribe down below if you are new because we would love to have you join our little family over here. We have a lot of fun and I'll see you next week. Bye!